In the past period, iRobot has introduced a lot of new robot vacuum cleaners. Two popular vacuum cleaners are the new iRobot Roomba J7 and the iRobot Roomba E3. At first glance, the robot vacuum cleaners look very similar. They have the same brushes and they both run on the iRobot Genius software. However, there are some major differences that I would like to share with you. In this Roomba J7 vs E3 EVO comparison, I list the biggest differences and similarities. Find out which one is best for you. Although the vacuum cleaners are very similar and the technologies under the HUD are similar, there are still a lot of big differences, especially in the field of obstacle detection and the possibility to create specific cleaning zones. Both the Roomba J7 and the Roomba E3 EVO use imprint smart mapping technology. However, the Roomba E3 EVO lacks a few important functions, which can be found in the J7. For example, the Roomba J7 is able to recognize objects to go around them with a big bend if it does not know them. He adds these obstacles directly into the virtual map he created of your room. In fact, if you give permission, the Roomba J7 can take pictures of objects it doesn't recognize and inform you about this. The Roomba E3 EVO cannot do this. In addition, the Roomba J7 uses precision vision navigation. This technology has now been developed to such an extent that robot vacuum cleaners with this technology can recognize and avoid dog poop iRobot is so assured that this will work that they even have a warranty for it. Not only in terms of navigation is there a difference between the Roomba J7 and the E3 EVO. Even if we look at the creation of specific cleaning areas, you have many more options with the J7. With the iRobot Roomba J7 you can create cleaning zones or zones where the vacuum cleaner not allowed to vacuum. This is not possible with the E3 EVO. In addition, with the Roomba E3 EVO you can only have specific rooms cleaned while with the Roomba J7 you can also have smaller cleaning areas within a room. An important part of robot vacuum cleaners is the maximum threshold height. If a robot vacuum cannot pass the thresholds in your home, it cannot navigate to different rooms. The Roomba J7 can drive over thresholds of 2.5 cm. The maximum threshold height of the Roomba E3 EVO is 2 cm. Most homes have thresholds that are lower than 2 cm. But it is good to check this in your home. Although a robot vacuum cleaner will in many cases be working when you are not at home, it is still good to familiarize yourself with the noise level. The Roomba E3 EVO is a bit quieter than the Roomba J7, where the E3 produces an average noise level of 58 decibels. This is 66 decibels with the Roomba J7. The Roomba E3 EVO is also a bit lighter, 3.18 kg versus 3.4 kg Roomba J7. Now that I have listed all the differences and similarities of both robot vacuum cleaners, it is interesting to keep them side by side in an overview. As you can see, the Roomba J7 is better at detecting and avoiding obstacles than the Roomba E3 EVO. On the other hand, the Roomba E3 EVO is a bit quiet, it is lighter, and it lasts longer on a full battery. The Roomba J7, on the other hand, is suitable for higher thresholds up to 2.5 centimeters. If you're not sure which one is best for you, you will discover a number of statements below for each choice. Although the Roomba J7 and the i3 EVO both use iRobot's latest technologies, the J7 a lot smarter. In my opinion, recognizing obstacles and cords is a must with a robot vacuum cleaner. If you have cables all over the floor, you don't want to have to clean them up before the Roomba can get to work. That's why I would choose the Roomba J7. If you don't have any messes on the floor, including cables, you can of course opt for the cheaper Roomba i3 EVO. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos.